The return of the monster, what does ISIS personnel reshuffle mean for Afghanistan? It would seem that with the victory of the Taliban, harsh Sharia law should come to Afghanistan, but at least terrorist attacks and brutal assassinations will stop. The events of October showed that the militants either do not want to restore order, as promised, or are unable to put an end to the competitors of the jihadist underground. On October 8, an explosion occurred in a Shiite mosque in Kunduz, as a result of which at least 150 people were killed. Just a week later, a similar terrorist attack occurred in Kandahar. Two suicide bombers killed mosque guards and carried out an explosion during a crowded Friday prayer, which killed at least 41 people. Vilayat Karasin, the Afghan wing of the Islamic State Asterisk, claimed responsibility for both attacks. But these barbaric attacks were not the only high-profile political murders in Nangahar province, someone killed and beheaded several militants and junior Taliban commanders asterisk, and in Jalalabad cut off the head of a local mullah. And if some experts called the bombings in mosques a bloody provocation of the Taliban, who, like the ISIS militants, consider Shiites pagans and potential enemies, then the brutal murder of field commanders and the death of a mullah can hardly be attributed to the Taliban.